Welcome to the three minute tour of Chandler. Here's Chandler on the desktop. That thing I'm typing into is called a quick entry bar. It lets you enter notes, to dos, meetings, and reminders. Anything that comes to mind, regardless of what it is. Below is the triage list. It's divided into the three triage statuses now, later, and done. I dump stuff into it and then figure out what I'm going to do with it all. Over time, I add additional notes to tasks or put them on the calendar if I know when I'm going to do them, like for this shopping list. If I have too many things in now, I move some items into later. If there are specific tasks I'm worried I'll forget, I set a reminder on them. When the reminder goes off, it pops into the top of the now section, refocusing my attention on it. Now let's try walking through something you might actually get done in Chandler. Let's say I'm having a barbecue this weekend. I've been planning it all week, adding who I'd like to invite, ideas for food, recipes I find. By midweek, I decide it's time to work on the official invite, so I take the list of names and create a new event for the barbecue on Sunday. Here you can see the invite on my personal calendar, which I can overlay with my other calendars to make sure there aren't any conflicts. Back in the triage list, the next thing I do is throw both the task and invite into a home collection I share with my husband and ask for his input on my plan. Eventually, I go back to the invite, write up a little note, add a link for directions, address the event, and send it out. My friends get the invite in email. Both my husband and I use Chandler on the desktop but I can also share with my friends who don't use Chandler. Recently, we started up an events calendar. We added everything from festivals and concerts to birthdays and lists of restaurants. To set it up, I just threw some stuff into a collection and published it to my Chandler Hub account on the web, where my friends can gain full access to the collection with just a link. No need to sign up for an account. If they want, they can also subscribe to it with an application they're already using. I'll show you how this works with Apple iCal. Just click on the link, iCal should do the rest. Even though iCal is mostly a calendar, all your data from Chandler will get synced. Notes and messages just show up as tasks in the to-do panel. Just remember to uncheck the Remove to-do items checkbox when subscribing. Well, time's up. Thanks for watching our three-minute tour of Chandler. Try it out and send feedback and questions to chandler-users at osafoundation.org.